These are all ahi pineapple. Um, I've got ahi pineapples from Ahi Joe, and I've also got ahi pineapple from Vincent from Kohut 196. So I thought that I'd uh, put them together. They they look very similar, but um, not necessarily the same. So I thought I'd uh, compare the two um, and see how the flavors compare um, to see if I can tell if there's a difference or not. So let's hack them open and have a look inside. So this is Vincent's ahi pineapple, very fresh bacatum smell to it, quite pungent actually. And this is one of Joe's, oh, I have to get a sharper knife. Actually, smell looks very, very similar. I couldn't tell the difference. If you gave me them to smell blind, I couldn't tell you that they were any different. Shells just seem a bit bigger. Maybe a bit more placenta in them too. The smell is. I, well, I, I could not tell the difference just from smelling them. So let's see if there's a difference when you eat them. Hi, so Nigel Carter back again with another quick review. Um, this time I've been sent um, the same variety by two different growers. I have an Ahi pineapple from Coheed 196 from Vincent. And I have um, the same variety, Ahi pineapple from Ahi Joe. So thanks Vincent and thanks Joe, uh, very kind of you to send me, uh, send me these. Um, I'm a big fan of Bacartums, so I'm actually quite looking forward to these. I've had quite a few lemons, I eat lemons this year, but not the pineapple. So let's start with uh, the smaller of them. And let's start with the one from Vincent. This is the Ahi Lemon from Coheed 196. It's a very distinctive smell, but I'm very hard pressed to to put a name to that or to, to describe it in terms that uh, that it would be easy to understand. I don't know, bottoms up. Very crunchy, very sweet. Got a good lick of heat to it too. Mmm. I'm not sure where the pineapple came from. To me, that tastes like a smoother version of the ahi lemon. Ahi lemons, to me, sometimes can be very slightly soapy, and that's not at all, not even slightly. But yeah, and a fairly typical Bacartum heat. You know, that's probably KN kind of hot. Certainly no more than that. The flavour is really clean. There's no unpleasant side flavours that you're not quite sure of. It's just straight ahead, citrusy, Bacartum-y, for want of a, a better term. It's hard to describe the Bacartum flavour, but once you've tasted it, you know what I mean. But yeah, it was extremely clean tasting pepper. Yeah, and as I say, none of that soapy undertaste that sometimes I've, I've had a number of different eye lemons this year, including ones I grew in. Some of them can be a little bit soapy. But that isn't at all. That's really nice. And that's a really nice variety. Very simple, very clean. And you could use that in all sorts of cooking. Um, add a little bit of flavor, a little bit of heat. 
I of course would just be eating them fresh off the plant. <laughs> what can I say? Hmm. <laughs> well, the heat's very much a, a tongue burn. Um, around the mouth a little bit, but mainly tongue. It's not, you know, it's not mad hot at all. It's as I say, it's about km hot. It's just a very nice warmth. Um, the carton burns. I find a little bit the Bacartan burn is a little bit between halfway between Annuum and, and Chinense. If you consider that Annuum is a little bit spiky and prickly, and if you consider Chinense, like in a habanero, to be very, very uh, strong burn but a smooth burn, and Bacartums are somewhere in the middle for me. But yeah, very nice. So let's try, let's try the ahi pineapple from ahi Joe. Thanks very much, Joe. Um, you see his, these are a little bit bigger. See these are a little bit bigger, but um, the ones I grew this year weren't very big, so cheers. Mmm. It's crunchy. A bit more juicy. But the flavour is just the same. I can't tell the difference. If we did a blind test, I could not tell the difference in smell or flavour. Or heat for that matter. The heat levels are very, very similar. Yeah, the heat's very similar. I'll say the heat on this one goes away a bit faster. But that's probably because I had the first one and I just went straight into a second one. But. Mmm, those are absolutely fantastic peppers. Really great snacking pepper, that one. Oh, this one's not. I don't want it to go to waste at all, do I? It's another one from Joe. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, there's lots of sweetness. A little bit of citrusy undertone. Absolutely no pineapple at all. <laughs> But um, wonderful peppers. I like these better than the ahi lemons. Yeah, they're, they're cleaner. They have less of a less of a sort of <clears throat> undertony of, of things that aren't great. Like as I say, the sort of slightly soapy taste you get with lemons sometimes. Not at all in these. Hmm. Very nice. Starting to make me sweat too. Mmm, delicious. Ahi pineapple. Doesn't taste anything of pineapple. But it's a heck of a good pepper. Really delicious. Sweet, crunchy, bacartomy. <laughs> and quite a nice lick of heat too. Mm. Well, I think the birds are going to start shouting any minute now, so... We'll leave that one there, but I've got a nice warmth in my mouth. Not much of a burn, but those are all KN hot. KN, those are all uh, KN hot or thereabouts. Hmm, really delicious peppers from both of you. Thanks, Vincent, and thanks, Joe. Awesome. What's next? <laughs> thanks very much for watching. This is Nigel Carter saying I'll see you soon. Bye.